My name is Iona Salison. I am Alaska Native and I'm fighting cancer for the second time in three years. It's my job to document the cancer cases of Alaska Native people for the Alaska Native Tumor Registry. At first, I found it hard to read about Alaska Native people diagnosed with cancer. Then, a month after I started working at the registry, it became personal when I added my own case. I was in shock. Although I continued working after my diagnosis, some days it was just too overwhelming to read about. But after a period of time, I started to feel differently about the records I was reading. Instead of feeling sadness, I felt I was in a place to contribute and I found strength in the work that we do. The Alaska Native Tumor Registry collects information about cancer diagnoses among Alaska Native and American Indian people in Alaska. The information, collected for the past 40 years, tells us a lot about cancer among Alaska Native people. One thing we know is that Alaska Native people have higher rates of many cancers compared to U.S. whites. For example, colorectal cancer rates are twice as high among Alaska Native people as they are among U.S. whites. Because of what we have seen with colorectal cancer rates, the Alaska Native Medical Center started a colorectal cancer screening program that recommends screening for Alaska Native people beginning at age 40, which is 10 years younger than the general population. I'm proud that our work helps people in the Alaska Tribal Health System to improve outcomes associated with cancer. Each cancer record tells a story, including mine. The Alaska Native Tumor Registry is the collection of these stories and enables the Alaska Native Tribal Health Consortium to better understand the burden of cancer on the Alaska Native people.